Hey, what's the business, TikTok? It's your boy Carlos with Leather by Lowe's back again with another project. Today, we're going to be working on a phone case and two knife sheets for a customer's birthday. As usual, we're going to start off by cutting out the leather patterns and prepping them for tooling. We'll take the raw side of the leather to keep from stretching during tooling, then trimming off the X's and laying the borders, followed by taking it over to the arbor press and dropping our Leather by Lowe's maker's mark. Then, we'll case the leather and start cutting out the design and tooling it. We'll be using one of our favorite Barry King stamps. Once tooling is done, we'll give it a coat of oil and letting it dry, followed by dyeing and resisting. Once enough time for this thing has passed to dry up, go ahead and hit it with some Feebing's Antique Paste and wipe off. Now that we have completed the hard part, we'll go ahead and start assembling by fitting the belt clip and installing the magnets. Also, we'll punch out the holes and start beveling the edges on the sheet. Now we'll lay some glue down to the liner and the body and assemble, followed by trimming off the excess. And this is what it'll look like. We'll let that set for now and start burnishing the sheets and installing the hardware. Once that is done, we'll contact cement the sheets and close them up. After that, we'll do some stitch grooving and taking the projects to the stitching station. Once stitching is done, we'll make our way back to the workbench after going outside to sand the edges, then start beveling, burnishing, and dropping some edge coat on the edges. Then we'll start assembling the phone case by gluing and hand stitching the flaps. Lastly, taking it outside for a sealer treatment of leather sheen. And boom, we got a finished product. Hope you enjoy, Martin. Happy birthday from Leather by Los. If you guys like this video, we invite you to give us a follow and share. Leather by Los. Peace.